Hello and welcome to a Golf Digest Middle East exclusive here at the Bose Store Dubai Mall where we're delighted to be joined by four-time major champion and uh, Bose ambassador Roy McIlroy. Thank you so much for joining us Roy. We've seen in other sports how rivalries have kind of pushed athletes to higher and higher levels. Are we seeing that in golf now with you know yourself, Jordan, Jason and, and now Ricky really with his performance down in Abu Dhabi and all the wins he's had of late? Yeah definitely I think Anytime you know, one of your peers is doing well, it motivates you to try and become better. And um, Watching Jordan and Jason do what they did last summer uh, while I was sort of lying on a couch and, and, and trying to get my ankle to heal, um, it definitely spurred me on and it motivated me. Um, not that I was ever complacent in any way, but you see these guys that you compete with week in, week out, and they're, they're winning the tournaments that you want to win. It definitely motivates you to, to try and just get that little bit better and improve that little bit more and um, you know as you said rivalries are a great thing in sport and it pushes people to um, you know break new boundaries and get to the next level and I definitely feel like that's what's happening in golf at the moment. The level you guys are at I mean we saw Jason get to 20 under at the PGA you know you've set major championship scoring records the athletic performance that now we're seeing at the top level of golf is that kind of a product of Tiger's legacy in your opinion? I think it is I think that there's a lot to it. I think that you know generations that that come after you know, say like you know this generation that's coming up after tiger are gonna that that's the benchmark and they're trying to better that and then the generation that are going to come behind us you know we will we will be the benchmark for them and they're going to try and better that so i think each and every generation you know they gain a little bit more knowledge that you know the the the, the information out there is endless the technology you know everything is getting better so there's no reason why generation after generation can't improve and I think that's what you're seeing with us and I think that's what you'll continue to see you know, for generations to come. Are we going to see another chapter in Tiger's career do you believe? I'm not sure. I, 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 you know, I'd like to be optimistic and say yes I'd love to see him have one more crack at it but he's got a lot of obstacles to overcome and uh, I think we just have to wait for him to, to overcome all his health issues and then you know it's about trying to get his golf game back and it's a, it's going to be a long process, I think, but hopefully, you know, he can you know, put the pieces together again, and at least if he can have one more crack at it for a year or two, you know, I think the golfing public would love to see that, and, and we'd all love to see it, and um, you know, hopefully, buy out with with a couple of good performances, and you know, he's got nothing left to prove in this game. You know, he is, you know, one of the best players, if not the best player ever to play. If you look at his record over a very you know, he won his majors in basically a 10-year span, you know, and he won 14 of them. So, you know, it was, a, it was one of the best stretches of golf we've ever seen. And I'm not sure it'll ever, ever be emulated, but, you know, he, he's definitely left his stamp on this game, and it's, it's a pretty big stamp. And, um, you know, these guys that are coming up with the likes of myself and Jordan and Jason and Ricky, you know, they're pretty big shoes to fill. And, um, you know, I think it will take not just one of us, but a few of us to fill that. And, you know, if we can fight it out, for those majors over the next few years, then I think that'll be great for golf as well. You've kind of made a name playing golf at full throttle. Um, the guys we're seeing coming up now, guys like Justin Thomas, I mean, they, they really do go for almost every flag, don't they? Is that, is that just the new way that golf is? It's kind of like all out, you know, no playing to percentages perhaps, or less so than in the past? I think so, because I think golf is so deep now, and you know, the, 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 the level of talent out there you know, it's not like you, you looked at a PGA Tour field or European Tour field 10 years ago and you could pick the 15 guys that have a chance to win. You know, you look at a PGA Tour field now and it's, there's 100 guys there that have a chance to win. So, you know, you have to take your opportunities. You have to make birdies. And I think the guys, game their all-around games are so good now. If they do miss a green or they do short-side themselves by going for a pin, you know, they have the confidence to get it up and down. They have the confidence to make par and move on to the next. So, you know, no one really has weaknesses anymore. And I think that's... That's why you see so so much aggressive golf these days.